right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, we got a lot of little news for you guys today, man. We got Shakedown with a little poll that we want to go through. We got NBA 2K Labs talking about volume shooter, that badge, and how it helps you in your game. And then we have my guy, NBA 2K Toots. He's talking about clutch shooter and should you equip it, should you not equip it. These videos are going to go well with the video that I put out yesterday about the best badges and my badge configuration and how I use it and how I don't really miss like that. So make sure you check out these videos and, uh, you know, we're going to go through all of that. Also, make sure you like the video, man, because liking the video helps people find the video. A lot of times what happens is if you don't like the video, the, the notifications just don't go out and people just don't see the videos, especially on a Sunday like this, man. So make sure you hit like on the video. It helps me out. And uh, if we can get 300 likes in the first hour or something, that would be awesome. And other than that, man, let's get right into the news. Dino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. Y'all already know what it is, man. I'm out here playing with my guy, Man Man Grinder. What hard? And uh, you know, it is what it is, man. That's my guy right there. We gonna always run. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great for all time. We about to actually make a comeback with me, Man Man, and my guy J2 Icy. We playing with a random out here, man. But you see me with my stretch five. He got his playmaker shot creator. And uh, we just about to get right into it. But first bit of news that we have today for you guys, man. My guy Shakedown2012, man, one of the best YouTubers out there. He asked the question, what is your favorite thing to do in NBA 2K in NBA 2K? So it's uh he's got what catch bodies, break ankles, splash threes, or uh or get snatch blocks. Now for me, let me see, let me see. This was before patch three. Man, look, man, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I'm not even gonna lie to you. You know what my favorite, you know what my favorite thing is. I'm ready to shoot, Jack. Trays up, splash down. You already know what my favorite thing to do in this joint is. But I will also say that I like snatch blocks also. Those are my two favorite things, splashing threes and snatch blocks. But that's just because what my character can do. So I'm gonna say splash threes, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't even gonna lie to you, but y'all let me know what y'all's favorite thing to do down there is to do down in the comment section, man. Like a lot of people like to shoot the ball and just spray from range. Uh, some people like to go in there and do like people do. Bro, I don't know what it is, but I've been getting just banged on lately. Like it don't even care. These guys got no regard for anything. You try to cut them off, it doesn't matter. Like they really are just taking off. And I keep seeing other centers saying, saying like, I know this not done like that because I got max weight and I got this. And then I watch T Mizzle stream and all he do is just go straight to the rim and just put it, just bang on it, just put it right in his face, it's right in his face. So I don't know what's going on. I think Slithery Finisher needs needs a nerf. I don't know, man. It's like, bro, you could be standing at the block and the dude starts taking off. When he starts taking off from that block, like it just puts you in an animation that there's literally nothing that you can do. I know people be talking about the paint sin centers. I ain't one of them guys. I try to literally move and slide my feet and cut people. It doesn't matter. Let me know if that's been happening to y'all, man. But I'm gonna tell you one thing about me. I'm gonna shoot this basketball. We ain't have no time left, man. I had to take the shot. But uh, you know, we got shot clock violation. But anyway, up next, man, we got the guys over at um we got the guy at uh NBA 2K on 2K Lab. You know you should boy. Spiel boy, and he's really just talking about, um, he's really just talking about volume shooter and how it impacts you. Now, what he's saying is that volume shooter does have an impact on you and it has a positive impact. And, uh, you know, but the greatest gains that you see are if you use it on bronze or if you use it on Hall of Fame. Uh, there's really no in between. It's like if you use it on bronze, you get a big boost, you use it on Hall of Fame, you get a bigger boost, but if you use it on, um, if you use it on on the other one, on, on silver and gold, you know, it's like it just, it really doesn't impact you all that much, all that well. So, you know, check that video out. Make sure you check it out because he's going much more in depth with it than I will go in this video. And last but not least, whoo, so wait for, hey, and last but not least, we got my boy NBA 2K Toots talking about, uh, what was he talking about, man? I had to see the thing is I had the video up and then it didn't come up, man. And so I had to go get it. He's talking about clutch shooter. And with clutch shooter, he's just talking about when it pops, what levels you should use it on, 
all that stuff. And you like, like you see the scores and all of that stuff like that. Look, man, I'm one of those people that I'm a big advocate for clutch shooter. I feel like clutch shooter is one of those badges where it's just like it's it's like an intangible badge. Like I got it on, I have it on gold. But now that I know that I can turn um, volume shooter down and get a and get a pretty good boost. I'm gonna put it on Hall of Fame. And let me tell you why, because I take some shots in this game that I got no business taking at the end of the game. And it's just like, man, look at the athleticism on that rebound. I, I take the shots and they might be contested, they may not be contested or whatever, but I'll hit the shot at the end of the game in somebody's face. I don't have to have any fear of taking that shot. And guess what pops? Volume shooter. Like right here, watch this. Trays up! Splash style clutch shooter. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't even know what I'm talking about, man. Not, not volume shooter, clutch shooter. So that's why I like the badge, man. I think it's one of those badges where it's just like straight up intangible. And obviously you see my green machine, the hot zone hunter, range extender, all this stuff, man. Then volume shooter pops, all of that. So I'm, I'm just like, I feel like, I feel like clutch shooter helps me out because a lot of times at the end of the game, I'm gonna, um, I get the ball and it's like, they're not gonna leave anybody open at the end of the game except for the center, right? So they'll be like, hey, you know, center, you're wide open. You know, get the guards, get the guard, you know, get the two play shots, whatever like that. And if you can get on the two play shots, and then it's like, okay, um, or they get on the guy that's that's got a higher rated shot than me because he's a stretch four or he's a perimeter lock. They guard those guys, they just leave the center open at half court for some reason, as if I can't drop that. And I just have the extra confidence because I know that. That, that uh that, that clutch shooter helps me out a lot of times people be bearing down on me too sometimes and it'll just let me hit the shot because i have on clutch shooter because it's a good shot i don't know if i should be using um the other badges though like steady shooter i might test out steady shooter today man but with the like i said with the jump shot that i concocted later lately it's, it's like i don't even have to worry about clutch shooter just because of the fact that uh that i mean i don't have to worry about steady shooter because it's like if I didn't get that ball off with the regular shot, I wasn't gonna get it off with uh with steady shooter either. And like I said, look at how they leave me open, man. Four! And I think right here is gonna pop. I think clutch shooter gonna pop right there. I believe that's the only reason I was able to hit that. That might have been green machine or whatever too. And like I said, hey yo, hey yo, can y'all do me a favor? Can y'all stop putting down in my comments if I'm cheating or not, bro? I'm stream I stream with hand cam. What else do y'all want? What more do you want from me? I'm streaming with hand cam to prove that I'm not cheating. There's no need to cheat in this game. Look at this. They're leaving me wide open. What, what do I... Oh, look at that quick first step. Woo, big man. You're leaving me wide open. I should be hitting these shots. Bro, this game is so easy that you don't even got to cheat in it. If you got an 85 or above three ball, you should be hitting damn near every shot you take almost. Like I'm hitting 66% and rising. And it's like, it, it don't make sense. Like why would why would anybody cheat at this game? Like if somebody's cheating at this game or they claim they can't shoot, that's te that's a testament of, of, of how bad they are at the game or something, bro. I, I, I really don't know. And I say that as man man smokes a jump shot. But he trying to he trying to master the shot stick at the same time. So you know it is what it is. Last but not least, we got this funny video, man, up here of, of your boy Bronny, man. Let's 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 just listen. They they talking about this is how Bronny was in uh in game five. This was his reaction. Now, if you've been under a rock, y'all already know that they're saying that Bronny is one game away or uh, one LeBron win away from, <laughs> from getting the worst behind whooping of his life, man. So you already know what time that is, man. Hey, I don't think it's going to be no big deal. Let me know down in the comment section what y'all think. Do y'all think that, that Bronny going to really be in trouble? I'm going to tell you what. I, I know what my dad would have told me back in the day. Like, because I, 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 let's stop acting like we're perfect people, right? And let's just say, you know you got some friends that, would take that would say what Bronny 15 16 what would they be telling Bronny right now he just now smoking boy you late like you see what I'm saying we I know I got friends that been smoking since they was like the sixth sixth and seventh grade and they are now responsible adults with good jobs and all that stuff so I ain't saying that they should be doing it but I know it ain't that big of a deal and in California the joint legal man so literally the joint is legal bars but I mean it's legal it, it is what it is man look I don't think it's that big of a deal. I know what my dad would have told me. He'd have been like, he'd have said, "Well, who the plug is?" Because I need a couple. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm joking. He probably would have. But um, you know, no, no. He would have been like, he'd have just been like, "Bro, if you're gonna do it, be responsible, but don't be stupid about it." Like I can't stop you from doing it. So if you're gonna do it, be responsible and don't be dumb about it. You can't be doing stuff like that around anybody because them same people that 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 took that picture of you, those will be the same dudes that'll get you locked up, or those will be the same guys that. 
something go down, they're gonna point all the fingers at you because you the popular one and be like, yeah, you know, it was all him and then uh, let you take the blame for it and you'll be sitting up by yourself. So, you know, that's all. He just have told me something like that, man. If you're gonna do something, obviously those weren't the guys to do it around. But you know, it is what it is. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but look, it's only as big of a deal as LeBron wants to make it because that's his son and ain't mine. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Was that that big of a deal? What's your favorite uh, thing to do in 2K? And um, do you run volume shooter and or clutch shooter? Uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. It's been your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all see this right here? Y'all see what I just downloaded? I say, I say y'all see what I just downloaded. I'm streaming on Twitch right now. Call of Duty, Cold War. Come holler at your boy. We're taking it back to the beginning. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy. We're taking it back to the yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ Era. That's what we're taking it back to right now on Twitch. Link down in the description. Come holler at your boy. Drop a yes, sir, in the chat. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Trip.